All right, we're back and we're getting ready to jump to a new system. All right, we're gonna hit this mass relay. And where are we? We're here. No, we're here. So where are we going? Are we going to Italy? Where are we physically? All right, so we're in Crescent Nebula. We have no reason to go to Ilium at this point. We've been to Ilium. So we can go to, we can help Tally, or we can go to this, or Crescent Nebula. What is the, no, not Crescent, it's Hourglass Nebula, which we've done some of. All right, let's go help Tally. Let's get this started. And we'll do our hourglass later. All right, so the migrant fleet, and we've got other things going on. So let's do, let's start help tally right now. Alright, obviously we're doing tally. And we're obviously doing tally. Who else are we gonna do? We can go old crew. Um Yeah, let's go we're gonna establish yeah, let's go add and we're gonna do him. Yeah. And let's take a look. Tally, let's check her weapons. She's good. She's good. All right. This is Tali Zora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Tali Zora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Tali helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tali. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tally Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Alright, gotta go to the hearing. Can I get anything from talking to the cat? You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. Alright, can I take the do I have a map? No. Charging Tali Zora with such a thing. If Tali Zora can't even get a Cordian captain to stand for her. She's as good as convicted. Alright, well. Looks like we're moving on. Tali Zorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. 
She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nemo. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zoravas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So... You would actually speak for my defense. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. All right, well, let's get, get going, see what happens. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Tali Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tally, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vasnima, a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Tal Chorus, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali? You're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the Migrant Fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. 
The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alurai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. We're gonna do what we do. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alrai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Right. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Right. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. We will. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alarai. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. Twenty-five or thirty years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There is a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tali's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Anshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tali and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. 
What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tiny, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. We should move on. Good luck on the other ride. All right, so that was her. That was one. All right, who else do we have? Um, nothing over here. We've got an admiral over here. We'll go. Let's talk to Gerald. Tally, I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully, you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way, and your captain Shepard. Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. Oh, that was hilarious. I'm just here to help Tally, Admiral. I'm glad someone is. You believe I'm innocent, don't you, Admiral? I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. The ship is crawling with geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tully, but if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Okay. You disagree with Admiral okay, Chorus's that, right? policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn geth apologist. Thinks we... He wants us to search for new... Any research on the geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yasko during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids. Serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten... And six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked to me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. Brass called us idiots. <laughs> they slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's rail for you. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. 
I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Yeah. As someone who's played this whole series through, I don't really want them to try and retake the home world. But it's gonna happen. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created. The people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. He's not wrong. Now, as if, if, you've, if you've never played Mass Effect before, um, re, the, if you, once you get to Mass Effect 3, this guy who's being a dick right now is absolutely on the moral high ground. He's absolutely right. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tally, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We've all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. Yeah, he is not. He's not wrong at all. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Yeah. So... All right, now where am I going? So that's where I gotta go. Let me see, if, uh, is there in, any other admirals to talk to? I talked to him, I talked to her. I'm gonna see this group over here, see if there's anybody to talk to there. I don't, there's no reason to go down there, but we're gonna see if there's anybody over here to talk to. Cause there are other admirals. Okay, let's talk to Vitor Nara. Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you help me. Okay, this is this guy sounds like Teb from, from Horizon Zero Dawn. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this. 
and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Jesus, like, straight out. Yeah, I, di I didn't come out sane, buddy. Zen. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. Sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Hangerl sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Charla Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But, if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. You support experiments on living creatures. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. <coughs> the ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Hangerl and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rail might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Oof. Yeah, she's a little screwed up. And you are Calriga, right? Yeah. Calriga. Shepard, Talizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Geralt are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but... Well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy? Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? 
Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation. The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, hope you're right, man. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated, some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. We should get going. Good luck on the holler, I. Stay right. safe out there. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Now let's get over. Shepard spoke well to the Emperors. Alright, we're gonna get to the doorway. And then we're gonna call it an episode right here. So, I will thank you now for watching. And I will see you in the next episode where we go on board the Alarai. But that will be a story for another day. Peace.